hella beautiful. Today, we're gonna be blind testing all kinds of hair products, and I have to identify which one is the least expensive, the middle most expensive, and the most expensive out of the three that are presented to me. I feel like I am going to kill this, but we shall see. Bring in the first round, let's do this shit. Okay, so this is a heat protectant. Okay, <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> Put it on the camera. Oh, okay. So I just. <laughs> <laughs> One's a pump cream thing. Um, one is a non aerosol spray, and the other one is an aerosol. Oh God. Okay. I guess we can start off touching this one. Let's see if this gives me any inclination if this one's expensive or not. It smells like very fragranced perfume and it's very feminine smelling. So based on the fact that there's a lot of scent in here, I'm gonna put this like up there. Like this might be the most expensive, but I don't know. It also feels really nice and it's making my hand feel really soft. Okay, this one I'm gonna say so far is most expensive. Now that there's already a scent on my hand, let's see if I can smell any of these other ones. Okay, let's do this. Oh shit. I'll put it on the back of my hand. That's giving drugstore. You can always tell by a scent. A lot of the times, if a product is expensive or cheap, because scent in a product is super expensive if you want a really nice one and you want it to be super fragrant. Is that the word? I don't know. Fragranced? Fragranced, deed. Fragranced. That's it, okay. This one's least expensive. Okay, let's see what this one is. That smells like hot chocolate to me. Okay, can I get a mannequin, please? Ah, there she is. Hello, Miss Manny Quinn. Thank you for joining me today. How are you? You think you weren't gonna be on today's video? Well, you thought wrong. How are we feeling? Oh, she's feeling good today. She's feeling fine about the idea of testing products on her because there's no cut and there's no color and I'm not trying something new. So very surprised a positive answer came from you. Oh, I will say this is a very nice aerosol. It felt beautiful. It doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell super expensive either. The bottle feels nice. I mean, I mean it's an aerosol, so it's not really gonna feel that crazy different. Uh, okay, I am gonna put this one in the middle. Most expensive, middle, least expensive. Okay, let's see. How did I do? Correct. <laughs> okay, wait, now I have to do price. I'm gonna say that this one is like 75. Yeah. More? 52. Exactly. <laughs> I swear I did not know that. Like, I did not rig this. Okay, this one is 34. Okay, $28, and this is 14. $4.99? Wow, that is very inexpensive. Well, I feel pretty good. Let's see what we got next, baby. Let's do this. This is a fun video. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> Miss Mandy Quinn, you gotta go too. Oh. Oh my god, I thought Sai was sleeping behind me. <laughs> Are you okay? This video is dangerous. <sighs> Let's do this shit. All right. It's a good day. I got my matcha latte here. Okay. Bring in the next batch of products, please. Hair oils. Ooh, we have oils. Oh, look at this presentation. Let's see them. Not much going on here. <laughs> it just looks like oil and they're all the same color. Oh, and I get this utensil to try. Okay, let's go based off visual first. This one is very yellow. This one is so thick that I, oh, it's very clear. I couldn't even see where it was. <laughs> this is a little yellow. Something about really yellow oils makes me think cheap. But then again, like some of the nicest brands have very colored oils. Let me smell this. Oh, definitely the cheapest. Mmm, I don't know, I can't, it smells like cardboard. This one's expensive, very fragrant, and very intense, and very perfumey. This one's the cheap. That one smells like not great. Let me just now feel each one of them, just to make sure I'm correct. Okay, this is water. Oh, wait, is this the most expensive? I was just about to drink that, imagine I was like... Two of them are runny, but one of them is like literally liquid. I think for this one, I have to go based off scent. This one's the most expensive. This one's the middle and this one's the least. All right, I think I got it. Almost. You got it right the It's most these expensive. two. Yeah. Oh, it's these two. I should have went with what I thought. I said initially this one was the least expensive. Now that I know which one is most expensive, middle and least because of Regina here, I'm gonna guess that the most expensive one is 63. Higher, 75. 
No, 184. Just tell me the- 87 dollars? Whoa, what brand is this? Damn, the middle, I will guess, is like 40, 30, 52, and that is the middle most expensive. Okay, that would seem like the most expensive to me. And then this one, I would guess, is like $3, 7. 15. Interesting. That is so expensive. I can't even. What the hell? <laughs> testing. Testing. What do, what do we have coming in next? Okay. Hi. Hi. Ooh, is it a lobster? <laughs> Almost. You wish hot. <laughs> Ew. What is this? Shampoo. Shampoo. Uh, exclamation on the poo part. That definitely looks like poop to me. We don't have to touch them. Oh. What is this, like a wand? Lingardium Leviosa. Let me stir this one with this because I don't want poop in my hands. That's so mean. Whoever made this product, I'm so sorry. Like, it does look like poop. I'm sure that you already know. Okay, this is a weird, weird, weird texture. It's so gooey. Oh, it smells very nice. I've never seen a shampoo so gummy. Okay, I'm gonna go based off the weirdness of this and this nice scent and the little bit of a pearlescent look to it. I'm gonna guess that this is the most expensive because it's very unique. Okay, next, let's see. I need like coffee beans because my scent is like completely messed up now from all this scent. I can't even smell this one. Plus it just looks like very runny and I don't like it. Mm -mm, nope. This smells like drugstore. Kind of has that like vanilla scent to it. It does have like a nice texture. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna switch these two. This one has no scent and I think it's supposed to be scentless. This one kind of has a more like drugstore scent and this one seems expensive to me. You got the expensive one. Of course, the poop one. But those are wrong. What the hell, man? I always get these two wrong. That's what I had, I should've just trusted myself. Let's pretend I got it right because that's what I had. Let's talk about price. So let's go from least to most. I think this is $8. $7.99. Oh. Oh, I was close. Okay, middle is um 32. That's close enough. I'll take it. This one is oh, she's like, is it like 86? 88. What brand is this? I've never tried that before. It does smell very nice. Again, with the perfumey scents, you can always identify a nice brand with the perfume scent. It is expensive to do, so it makes sense. Take it away. I'm ready for the next one, Miss Glove Person. Miss <laughs> Glove Person, where are you? <laughs> you can't reveal your character. What do we have next? Styling gel. Great. I went to school for styling gels, how to make them, so I shall be good at this one. Let's see. The funny thing about these styling gels is that they actually don't even look like styling gels. <laughs> when you say styling gels, what does that mean? Just all different kinds of styling? I didn't go to styling gel school. Oh, <laughs> so you don't know. Let's see here. This one literally looks like an oil to me. Oh, it is so gooey. I like it. A little ASMR for you. Oh, could be most or could be middle. Scent is there. It's like the coloring is nice. It feels high quality. It's definitely gooey, but not too gooey. Like there is definitely oils in there. So it's adding a little bit of hydration in your hair. So I'm gonna say for now, this is gonna go in the middle. Let me see this one. Oh, that's definitely drugstore. This one has sparkles in it though. You know, I love to put sparkles in things. All right, I'm gonna say that this sparkly one is the most expensive because mica is expensive. Yeah, this cream is gonna be put in the middle. I'm switching things around a little bit. And then this one, this more clear one at the lowest. <laughs> okay, so this one, I'm gonna guess this one costs $8. Ooh, that was pretty cheap. This one, 22. 20, okay. And the most expensive one, I'm gonna say it's 43. 63. It's kind of gel sounds. Okay, so it's a combo one. They tricked me a little bit. Hairsprays. Oh, I know a thing or two about hairsprays. I use a lot of hairspray. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is my instrument for testing hairsprays. We have a fan. 
This will be helpful when I want to smell the product, I guess. Is this everything? Oh, we have Miss Manny Quinn. Hi, Miss Manny Quinn. Thanks for coming. Well, this one should be easy, right? Except not at all. Just because something has a stronger hold or a lesser strong hold doesn't mean anything. The only real thing I guess I can go off is scent with this one and like the mister sort of function on the bottle. This one. There's a lot of product in here, so maybe it's a little more expensive. It definitely feels heavy. Let's give it a little sniff. That's drugstore, that's, yeah. There's this classic scent that goes around in the drugstore that everybody uses. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they get it at bulk or something and it's like a good price, but let's try this next one. I love this nozzle, like this is expensive. I already know. Well, we know what that one is. That is a perfumey, beautiful scent and that is going most expensive. Now this one, this also feels big and heavy and gorgeous, but it also has a kind of a cheaper nozzle on it, like a very regular nozzle. Doesn't smell drugstore. It's giving salon. This is the order I'm putting them in from least to most expensive going this way. Correct. Yeah! I'm gonna guess that this one is $14. Eight. Five doll hairs? This one, um, 25. 26. 26. This one is 63. Less. 54. Less. What is it? 46. 46, okay, slay. On to the next one. Hello. Thank you for my meal. Ooh. Oh, well I know what this one is before you even tell me it is purple shampoo. Delicious. Okay, right off the bat, there's one that really sticks out and this one has a lot of that pearlescent look to it and it's a bit sparkly with some mica in it. Oh, and it has a very like strong perfumey scent. That's automatically gonna go up to the number one most expensive spot. That one's it. I don't even have to touch it. I don't have to do anything with it. This one smells expired, I don't know. Oh my God, what? Weird scent, okay. This one smells like very older woman type scent. I will say that the pigment in this one is a lot darker than this one, which doesn't really mean that much. Like if it's darker, I don't know, I do feel like sometimes more pigment means it's gonna work better, but does that mean the price is gonna be more? Not really. Okay, that's like gooey. Interesting consistency. This one's really runny. This one I feel like is the middle most expensive and this one's the least. This feels like it makes sense to me. That's my answer. You learned your lesson with the sports. <laughs> I did, I learned my lesson. It's right? Yeah, it's right. <laughs> Now I'm getting too many right. This looks <laughs> suspicious. You know, this one feels a little more obvious. This is the least scented. I feel like this is probably priced at like $16. Seven. Oh, seven. I need to go lower. This one is 28, 26. This one is getting 54, 63, 46, 46. I knew that. This one's really pretty. I want to try this. Ooh, a little dry shampoo moment. Thank you. I have my fan back again. This is dry shampoo. Okay, two of these are looking very similar. They're actually the same exact cap. What's the guy gonna do for our Miss Manny Quinn? Ah, uh, yes, there she is. Feels like a sort of custom bottle, like a custom shape going on. There's literally no residue at all. Oh, it smells professional-ish. Doesn't smell great. It smells fresh, but like a very light fresh smell. A little chemical-y in there. And it really wet the hair. It seems to be very alcohol-based. This one could be the lowest or could be the middle. Okay, this one. These are both nearly exactly the same. It has the same component, but let's see how it smells. Are these the same product? I don't know. These are really confusing. Okay, this is... Middle. Let's see if this one does anything differently. Both of them are really alcohol based and don't have any kind of powder in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's so confusing. This one did the exact same thing as the other two. Oh my God, I think this one smells a little bit more like professional. Honestly, they all have a very similar scent to them and they all didn't do a lot to the hair. Most expensive, cause it's a bigger can. I don't even know what's a big, is it bigger? No, I think it's the same fluid ounces, but I have literally no idea. This is the order. It shows. <laughs> this, it's completely wrong. This is the most expensive. This is the middle. Okay, I would have never guessed that. Uh, I have no idea what the prices are, clearly, because I had no idea that which order they went in. I guess like $42. 36. 36, all right, all right. This one is like 22. 
26? Is this 16? $7.99. Oh, damn it. Wow, that's kind of crazy that the most expensive one and the least expensive one have the exact same component. The exact same nozzle and everything. And this one has a different finish on it, but whoa. They smell the same too. And they work the same. Listen, I didn't, it's not like I did like a whole test with them and like tried them out for a week. So I don't really know which one works the best, but it is weird that they both almost look the exact same. That was the weirdest one of all. And it's the one we're finishing with. Like I would have never guessed. Well, I feel like I did kind of decent. For not knowing anything about what was gonna be presented, I definitely kind of slave. And I feel confident. I feel like if I can know which one is the most expensive just by visual and by feeling it, like that's pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Like, <laughs> Hello? Your product expert called, he said, what's up? Anyways, if you wanna check out my hair care and hair color line, where I put all of my expertise into it to give you the best, most incredible products you've ever tried and the most beautiful, healthiest hair possible, well, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com to check out all that we have. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.